How's it going? Let's see if my video is working. Test, test, test. Yes, microphone works. Cool. I'm just going to try to research and film a photography news video for where my main YouTube channel, if you want to call it main, the one with the most lifetime views, I'll call it. So there, be, there were quite a few releases since the last one, which was only six days ago. So might as well make another one. And uh, also before before that, this shirt I picked up at Target. I mentioned it in a few streams back. The Target has these athletic fit shirts. So I've got the Kirby one from there. It's kind of a light green color, athletic fit, and it was pretty decent. So I gave a shot with this one, same athletic fit, and it feels pretty good. Different type of material. This one's actually softer and a little bit more comfortable slightly, but the the fit feels basically the same, which is good. It goes down. I don't like how shirts pop out, like flare out like this, but I, I don't know if there's any any designs that don't do that. I wish they just went like down. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, let's switch that. Pull up a good browser for this. I have done some notes already, so got a head start going. I'm probably going to get some more links, maybe look for other sources, read about it. Oops. Um, pop these in. Whoa. Okay. So let me first check just to see if there's anything new that I haven't seen yet. So I've looked at these ones recently. Let's check this website. I kind of doubt anything is... So I was thinking about talking about the iPhone, but... I don't know. Oh, pop-ups. I should have brought a towel or something. It's, uh, it's kind of, you know, the whole condensation thing. Um, where did I put that? Well, I'll go get one. An old camera shop that does not exist anymore. Sadly. All right. iPhone 15 sold out in less than an hour. Oh, nice. Is this new? Hmm. So I was thinking of splitting this up into Micro Four Thirds talk as its own video. And then everything else. I've never used, like, directly used the any of the Micro Four Thirds stuff. And I do wonder if they're going to survive long term. We will see. I don't know if this is a new camera or not. 
Maybe they're just slow to make a review, which is possible. I mean, let's do a search. I never trust Google to not show zip codes, so I'm going to do it off screen here. Release date. Now, this came out in 2020. So that's not new. Just make sure that information is correct. Yeah, EM10 Mark IV. Well, oh, it's even called Olympus. So for whatever reason, they're reviewing this. Does this company change their name to OM Systems, and it it broke itself off from the main company? They must have some reason for. Uh, doing this. It's pretty compact. The problem is, is that with this, the, the pricing just doesn't make a whole lot of sense compared to APSC. Because if this is from 2020, it's Eight hundred dollars with the lens. There's a smaller sensor, which does. It's like a combination of apertures used on the lenses that they tend to release, and then also the smaller sensor. You're just not going to get as much quality out of it. And the the depth of field situations are you're always going to have more in focus, which is good in some situations, but bad in other situations. It's possible this is much cheaper now. Let me check. Yep, it is. No, it's still eight hundred dollars. Man, what the heck? Actually, what I could also do is sort cameras by I guess I'll show this one. It says Rockford, but that's not a big deal. So we got digital cameras, and then I want to sort it by release, new release. Yeah, the A7C2, I did a video on that. Did a video on this, that one. Okay, the GFX100 too is one of the ones I want to talk about, and this one too, but I was thinking about splitting these up. So you can see how small the sensor is in here, that thing in the middle, compared to, well, not that one, that, one, that one's just nuts, but something like this. Do they even have a picture of it? Nope, they don't even have a picture of the sensor. Whatever. This is larger. You can see it's four. This one I feel like is overpriced too. But then you look at the price of this thing. I don't know what they're thinking. And so without a lens. I think I'll copy this, potentially use that in the video. Let's pull up Adorama, another New York camera shop. It's 
pretty popular. Also one of my affiliates like BH. Should I not show anything awkward? Negative of having a vertical screen is that it tends to crop things out with websites because they're built to some of them are built to change size and then they exclude some information. So I can't okay, there we go. Newest items. Yep, there's the G9. Yeah, they're, actually, their sorting is smarter than the B&H sorting. Because it's actually, by date, the B&H, they had the Sonys on the top. I wonder if they pay for that. Okay, so we got that. That's with the lens, but it's twenty five hundred dollars. Holy crap! Yeah, it's like a, a twelve. So the crop factor of these cameras, the Micro Four Thirds, is two x compared to the full frame. And APS-C is around one point six, so it's a larger sensor for APS-C. But the math is easier, of course, with the Micro Four Thirds. So it's just twenty four millimeter to or 120 millimeter full field of view equivalent. So what you see. But if it's a 2.8 aperture for this sensor, how much light's going to be getting onto it, it's not ideal. But at the very least, their kit lens, while wow, $500 for a kit lens. It's f2.8 on the wide end and f4 on the long end. And usually APS-C stuff is like the cheapo stuff is cheaper than that, but it's also smaller aperture. So they're at the very least trying to compensate a little bit. Here's another one that I'm going to talk about the tough is a waterproof camera or as waterproof as you're going to get it without a external case but i don't think they changed a whole lot here which is pretty not great so it's f2 f4.9 this has a tiny little sensor in it Smartphones are basically, some some smartphones have a sensor the same size as what's in here. They're very close, which is not great for this in comparison. But it's a specialized camera, so you're getting unique stuff in here. What was that? Sorry, dogs. Dogs. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, one over two point three. So if we look at the iPhone, I don't know if I can even find that information. Let's let's look at a Samsung. Like one of the more recent Samsung phones. Uh, time of release. So whatever this well, there's a Z Fold 5. That's probably got the best cameras. If you look down at the main cameras, we've got a... Oh, it's using a... It's, 
Okay, this is a different measurement. So this is the size of each photo site. One, one point one two. So I'm not sure how to convert that. But you can see the selfie camera is a larger number, so it's a smaller photo site. So that's a, this is a one over three, and the selfie camera you can see is even smaller, but has fewer photo sites. It's ten megapixel for this cover camera, whatever that is. So you just divide that number, but you could see it's slightly smaller than this uh, Olympus one. Let me just try a pixel or something. Google. Pixel Fold, Pixel 7a, Pixel 7 Pro. Okay, this is 1 over 1. 3, 1. So when you calculate that, let me just pull the calculator here. So 1 divided by... I don't know why they do fractions like this. 0. 0.76. <laughs> Some motorcycles, you know, flipping whatever. This is 1 divided by 2.33. So I can see this sensor <laughs> inside the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the main sensor, is significantly larger than the one in in this waterproof camera. It's pretty sad. Well, these are, although these are diagonals, I think, so that this one's probably a taller sensor, so it might not be quite as small as, as uh, I mean, it's still going to be smaller, but not necessarily what these numbers represent is what I'm saying. So you have to look at the aspect ratio of the sensor, which I don't know if they would even list. Yeah, it doesn't say. But this one is probably four, yeah, four to three. So this one's relatively tall. Anyways, I'm just saying it's too bad they didn't improve this line of camera. So it basically looks the same as the previous one. From what I can tell. Hmm. I would take one. Don't get me wrong. I would definitely take one, but. <clears throat> it's got a Ken R100. Talked about that a long time ago. Not anything new here. Sort this by newest. Seventy one. I talked about that one last time, I think. Might have mentioned that one. Fujifilm GF lenses. I don't know what Apple is in here. So I do have information. That's not bad. So Apple tends to just not tell people what's in it. Or at least makes it really difficult to find that information.
So there's a 15 Pro Max, which is physically larger, I think. You can see the size of the lenses. There's a 15 plus. Do they have a comparison thing? Yeah. Nice. Maybe I'll just do this. Cool. I don't want to waste like a huge amount of time talking about Apple, but maybe I'll mention it. Yeah, so we've got a 48 megapixel f1.6 aperture, 26 millimeter equivalent field of view. That's a 24. 24 so they're slightly wider with the more expensive bigger ones and you can see here the it's 1.2 i think it's mu the um thing that's a measurement pull this off screen for a second microns so you can see that it means microns micrometers so it's a length of measurement equal to one millionth of a meter and a meter is got a very specific definition Oops, let me copy this. Yeah, here's a here's a good little Google. Okay, that did not. Whoops. Okay, they're not giving me AI suggestions with the private browser. And that, that makes sense. So I think I have this specific account. Only do that. So it says the uh, meter is a standard unit of measurement. Why is this flashing? I don't have my camera up there. Okay. And it's defined as the distance light travels in a vacuum. Oh. This definition was agreed upon in 1983. Speed of light is a is fixed at 299,792,458 meters per second in a vacuum. An imperial system, a meter is equal to 3.2 feet, three feet, three inches. Yeah, I, I've, I've so wished that the United States didn't be stupid and go imperial system, but we're stuck with it because tradition or some crap. It'd be so easy if everyone used the same flipping measurement system. Actually, I, think, I was thinking of weight measurements that they had a very specific thing. I mean, this is too, but it's 
it's a, a smart way of, you know, you just flip, you take something that has a constant speed under a certain condition. So in a vacuum, light. Yeah, that just makes so much more sense. And then they say it in a second. It's just smart. <laughs> it's like, uh, we have a brain. We can figure something out good. And this, the conversion thing caused problems with space stuff in the past where they didn't convert between uh, different measurements. And it basically crashed to, I think it's one of the Mars rovers or something. So it's a problem. Or at least was a pretty bad problem at some point. Yeah, so anyways, this is one millionth of a one meter, which a meter is, again, how fast light travels in a second under a vacuum, in, in a vacuum. So, and it says 1,000 microns is equivalent to one milliliter. Yeah. So it's just smart and logical. Anyways, this is what that measurement wherever it is, uh, right here. So 1.22 microns and then, uh, one micron. So this is a slightly smaller pitch size of each photo site on the sensor compared to this one and that one. Then we look at the other module. This is a 3x optical zoom. That's a 1 micron. So it's the same physical size of each photo site compared to this thing. And then we've got a 13 millimeter equivalent field of view. 120 degree, ultra wide. And that's a 1 over 2.55 inch. If you divide that, <laughs> each... Each photo site is 1.4, which is not great. So the ultra wide is a smaller sensor. It does have dual pixel autofocus, phase detect autofocus on the sensor. That's a whole nother thing. <clears throat> yeah, this is good. I'm going to use this. So quickly talk about Apple. I'll, I'll talk about maybe these lenses when I talk about the GFX monstrosity. I'm not going to talk about this. Let's see what else we have real quick here. Real quick, right quick. Cautionary tale. Cautionary tale. Looks like it is exploding for some reason. Insurance. Oh. Is it wind? Oh, they headed close to a fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> they had a grip on it and it flipping. Hmm. <clears throat> I've broken a few things. Not that extreme, though. I was doing a 
a lens video. <laughs> I had this lazy Susan thing to rotate. And I got a little too excited and I rotated the lens off of the thing and it hit the floor and I had to send the lens to get repaired. That was fun. Probably done some other stuff too. That's the main one I can remember. This is just stupid. <laughs> I can find that video actually probably. YouTube is still blocking suggested videos in some of my accounts. Some of them do still have it, some of them don't. But I'm not going to enable it so they can screw off. I won't, well, I'll say never say never, but it's unlikely I will budge. I don't think I actually have a, wait a second. Okay, it was this one. <laughs> it wasn't even a good video and it was very low quality. But this is the lens. So this, when I was spinning it like this, I got carried away at some point and it flew off. <laughs> Music. Yeah, this is the quality of my older videos. I mean, it's higher quality than what you're seeing here because YouTube makes the stuff in here very low quality, but not that much better. <laughs> Anyways, that is one of the lenses I broke. Leica stuff, I don't even feel like talking about Leica. What the heck is this supposed to mean? Hmm. This is probably the Sony uh, ZV-E1. I was looking at a streamer recently and they bought one of those and I kept calling it a ZV-1, I think, which is actually the small one. But the ZV-E1 is the big full frame one, but it's not big, it's relatively small for what it is. So that's probably what this thing was. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna keep that. Um, let me copy the links to the ones I'm gonna do here. So this one and that one. Yeah, this is quite the camera. So the sensor in this one is even larger than full frame, which would be like this. That's a full frame camera. This one's even larger. Let me see what the crop is. It's not actually cropping, it's bigger than, but the number is like point, zero point something. I think it's zero point eight something yeah it's not saying here it doesn't even say it anyways it's not true medium format. It's even larger. But this is pretty big. Pretty big. Okay. Wow. 
Why is this cheap? Why is that cheaper? G92. What? G92. It's already discounted? 12 to 35, 2.8. That's the constant maximum. Which is better than the other one that I saw. Hmm, interesting. Oh, this one comes with two. Twelve to sixty. No, that's that's not the one that I was looking at. Yeah, it was this one. So this is just a worst option. Twelve to it's slightly okay. It's a longer focal length. Yeah. It's not discounted, so it's just a bad deal. So the Leica pre-order. I guess I could talk about Leica. I don't really care about them, though. I'll close that for now. Keep this. Uh, don't want to keep this. Maybe. I think I copied that. Yeah. Yeah, so there's that. So it looks like it's B and H specific. It's weird that they don't have very similar results here. Oops. We should start with Amazon Top Cameras. This is a specific page on Amazon. I'm going to hide this for a second. No, uh, this shows Rockford. Yeah, so maybe I'll start with this. It's kind of funny. This is what people actually buy. In quantity. So I'll keep that. Put this in here. It'll do that and then get the iPhone out of the way. Talk about that. And then talk about... Close that. The tough TG. There's a black magic cinema camera. It's kind of cool. Then I noticed 
is Yumanzi. These things. Let's make sure their website doesn't show any questionable information. Looks okay. You never know, though. So this is a microphone kit. $80. The question is, does it have... Wow. Hmm. I think there's some type of base manufacturer for this now because I've seen multiple companies come out with something very similar. So they're basically copying DJI's original design and making it cheaper. So. This is very interesting, though, considering the price. Yeah, I'll talk about this thing. Maybe I'll try to find the email of the you you uh, the bleh. although I had a kind of a weird interaction with them because I did do a video with Elonzi stuff, but then the person was sourcing things from different sub distributors and they wanted very specific links. It just got kind of weird. That said, that the actual company, their like quality of their products that I've used are, is nice. I still have, uh, or I use a lot. The thing that goes on the backpack connects stuff to it. And I have quite a few of their mounts. I mean, that's uh, mounts are obviously very different than an electronic device, but their mount stuff is pretty nice. So I'll talk about that one. Then we've got Black Magic. Another video kind of video thing. And then GFX Chunk Chunker. Big big beast of a camera. You should mention the crop ratio here. Maybe not. Mm hmm.
Okay. And this, these have a different aspect ratio than full frame and APS-C. It's a little bit taller, I think. Okay. So there's the millimeter size, 43.8 by 32.9. It doesn't even show... Might be this four point eight K. And they're very very much pushing the video stuff. I am not a fan of websites like this. Like a huge scroll and then it animates and stuff. There's a manual. Hmm. If I wanted to go hardcore, I could look at the manuals, but it's a lot of time investment for video that will get like 100 views on, if even. Okay, let's see. I think that's it. Let me check a few more websites here. So that's good. GFX. So I did post a question on my YouTube community thing for the photo channel. I asked people if they wanted two videos or one video. I think a few people responded. Let's take a look. Only four votes. <laughs> I don't know if that's enough feedback to base a decision on. I could at least mention it in this one and then talk about it in, in detail somewhere else. That price is it's a big camera. I think it's worth that much money. Three year warranty is better than average. Usually it's one year. It's probably part of the price. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to I'm going to do this like I'm making a video because I'm going to clip this turn it into an actual video afterwards. So I just go over the news type things and I talk about it uh 
give my opinion, which is kind of like the value out of it. <laughs> if anyone values my opinion, then they'll get it. So that's, that's the main thing. No, oh, actually, let me just do another quick check here to see if there's anything else. Rumor stuff I don't care about. Yeah, Black Magic, Hell Mount. Rescue puppy captured pinching probiotics. I guess they mean stealing, pinching. <laughs> Don't want to talk about this thing. 50, 0 0.95. Was it $15,000? Oh, so like eighteen thousand. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, they're <laughs> they've got a typo here. A little bit of a typo. Fourteen thousand euros. Radiation. Let's see if Canon has anything. Cinema Prime. I guess. This is like a security camera thing. Nope. Nine fourteen. Could have sworn I talked about this last time. Hmm. Filtrox tends to have a lot of stuff going on. Ninja 30. I'm being lit by a Ninja 300 original. One of them. Or like One Direction. Let's see what... Okay, the camera's reversed. So it's on my right. Oh, they've got cinema things too. Okay, thanks, Instagram.
any kind of ambassadors. How nice. I guess I could talk about this. I'm going to put this in front of... It's not like really... Photo video news. Yeah, I guess that counts. See if they have anything else here. Hmm. This must be old because it doesn't even show the tough. Oh. 